Hey everybody, it's Allison here with New Little Life. Okay, so I was thinking about some of these products that I've been wanting to share with you, and I could do individual videos on each of them, but I think today we're just going to compare four of these common products I see that are often suggested to make pumping more comfortable for moms. So here's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about pumping pals, Lactec phalanges, Bojan cushions, and the liquid shield system from Pumpables. Okay, so let's just kind of pick one of these to start with, and then I can tell you what it's for, why you might want it, pros and cons, stuff like that. Let's start with the Pumpin' Pals. Now, I saw these suggested a lot to moms everywhere. And I feel like I saw these most often suggested when moms had elastic nipples. So that is when the nipple of the breast becomes really elastic while you're pumping and gets very long. The breast tissue just has a lot of elasticity and is coming down a long, long way. And so why that's a problem with a traditional flange is that sometimes the nipple can hit the back of the flange and it gets a little uncomfortable, a little. <laughs> You can imagine what that might feel like. So these have a longer tunnel here. They also are quite a different shape. So let's compare it to a traditional flange here. This one actually has quite a long tunnel as well, which is uncommon. But you can see by looking at this traditional flange that the shape of this hole here is very circular, very centered, and very rigid. So when you're pumping with the breast there, it goes right on the nipple, there's kind of even pressure all the way around that circle. And so the idea with the pumping pals is, is that it's an angle, so you get more pressure spread out and there's not a specific ring of pressure that's sitting around the nipple giving you that. So these also don't have specific sizes. So we're kind of used to with other sh um, breast shields, kind of looking at a size like, are you a 17 millimeter or are you a 21 or a 28 or a 30? These ones don't have sizes like that. And it's because of the shape and the angledness of the flange. So these come in sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. And let me tell you kind of how those correlate a little bit. I'll also link a video down below where someone from Pumpkin Pals actually walks you through this but the extra small is 15 to 19 millimeters about. Small is 20 to 23. Medium is 24 to 27 millimeters. Large is 26 to 30 and extra large is 30 to 40. So you don't actually need an exact measurement, just close to know which kind to use. You can pump with them angled upward or you can pump with them angled downward or you can go sideways. Whatever works for you, it doesn't really matter. This also allows you to lay back a little bit more if you want to be more reclined while you're nursing, which or pumping, excuse me, which can actually be a nice feature. The small, the extra small and the small are made from this squishy silicone, which is really nice. They have these grooves in them. Can you see those? A really nice design. The medium large, extra large are a hard silicone, but again, they have that same shape and angle to make it really, really comfortable. It does come with a little adapter, so you can just hook those to any flange that allows you to take off the, the shield part. So you can pump this way, or that way, whatever works best for you. So those are pretty cool. Now let's look at these ones right next to it which are from Lactec. And these are a new, a new one that I have been looking at, but they are really, really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best, it might be easier with this one. I'm gonna try my best to show you what's different about these. So the silicone is tough, but it is flexible, but it's a, it's a hefty silicone. And then there's a little section along the bottom here that is a lot thinner silicone. And what that does is when you're pumping, that bottom part, I'll turn it so you can see a little bit. When the suction comes, that bottom part is able to come in and kind of massage up and around like this. So this all part is, is thick and hard, not hard, hard, it is squishy, right? But this little section, I can't remember what they called it. Oh, sorry. The window maybe? 
comes up and kind of massages the nipple that way. And a lot of moms have said that these are very comfortable. One thing I do like about them is most of them, most of the sizes have this like frosted kind of covering on them, which is really smooth against the skin. It does, I like it better than this like sticky plastic stuff. Um, really, really nice feel on that. Some sizes do have the clear outside so you can see the nipple, which is a nice feature as well. So black tech phalanges are also really cool. Again, they go onto any kind of phalange that allows for that top part to come off. So you can use it with a lot, a lot of different pumps. I'll put a link to a page on my Amazon storefront that will have a bunch of these connectors for you and all of these products as well. Not all of them you can get on Amazon. And in fact, I've signed up for a couple of affiliate programs on these products, usually just to get you the discount code, um, but it does help my business as well. So there's discount codes for you down in the description. And so that'll help you save a little bit of money on these products. I did just throw on my table here, this pumping spray from Legendary Milk. It is a really cool product and it helped me a lot getting this all set up. With these harder ones, you, you may want some spray and just to kind of lubricate things up. Little pumping spray, a really nice product. I really like Legendary Milk stuff. Um, it also was nice for getting these really tight into the, the phalanges here. Okay, next let's look at this liquid shield system from Pumpables. So Pumpables is a newer pump that I've recently gotten and I've been really impressed with the actual pump. But these liquid shield kits, you can use with the pump bubbles pump or you can use your regular phalange kits. You can use these also with a lot of other different pumps. So very cool. Now these ones, if you wanna see them in action, there's a video over on Instagram where I put it like on a balloon. I also pump with them a little bit and kind of showed you what the motion looked like. But the unique thing about this liquid shield kit is this. So they had the same kind of theory, I think, as the pump and pals, that they don't want this hard ring putting pressure on one specific ring spot because that can hurt a little bit, okay? So what these guys did is they put this insert. <laughs> so it's this entire insert here into this flange. And you can see this opening here is very large. So this is not touching the hard plastic at all. So when your nipple is in here, the suction comes and it's kind of like massaging and pulling the whole thing. So again, you don't have that hard ring that's just sitting on the breast and tugging in one specific ring. You've got much more even pressure. And this one really does compress similar to a baby. I was really impressed with this. This and the Lactec both claim to mimic a baby suction and I would agree that these are way more similar than a hard <laughs> you know what I mean because even a baby's latch is asymmetrical so just putting on a very symmetrical thing doesn't make sense to me so I'm glad that companies are reinventing that size style and shape I mean it just it makes sense to me this one also has a frosted ring can you see that around the the part that's in direct contact with the skin, going to reduce friction, which is going to be much more comfortable for you as well. Again, you don't have to use these with the pumpables pumps. You can just use them with any pump you want. I do have a discount code for this one that I will put down below for you. But you can see how big of a space is between the phalange and this, and it made for just a really, really comfortable pumping session. I really liked the liquid shield kits from Pumpables. Okay, and then last, let's talk about the Bojin cushions. I was really excited to try these out because I've heard really good things about them. And the deal with these things are, they are designed for comfortable pumping and to help adjust your fit a little bit. So this is like a really soft, really stretchy, I wanna say silicone, but I don't actually know what it is. I don't know, <laughs> really comfortable though. And the idea is, is that it's so soft and stretchy that it kind of adheres, not adheres, it kind of sticks to the breast. And then when you put this phalange on, 
the breast and the cushion are moving together so your skin is not actually rubbing on the hard plastic or whatever you're pumping with. So that's a really cool idea. This is also about a millimeter thick. So you can adjust the size of your flange to kind of get you on those in-between ones. So if you are not a 17, a 19, a 21, 24 millimeter size, if you fall in between those, which you might because everyone's breasts and nipples are different, this can help you size a little bit better in those in-between ones. So I think this is a 24. So if you were a 23 or even a 22, you could pump with this cushion on the inside. Not only would it be more comfortable, but it would kind of bring this down another millimeter to get a better size. So this is really great for anyone who has a, a phalange size that's close, but they're just like, oh, it's just a titch too big, but the 17 is too small, but the 19 is, uh, you know, this kind of cushion would be great for you. This is also nice if, even if you have a great phalange fit and you just want a little bit more comfort. Like I said, it does really protect the skin from the, the phalange part and create a nice barrier. Now, this is only going to work for women who are sizes about 19 to 26, I believe it is. And I'll post a video down below with the founder of Bojan and she'll tell you more about that. But it doesn't gonna go, it's not gonna go larger than that and smaller than that too, you'll struggle a little bit as well. So if you need it a little bit bigger than what it is and you need to stretch it out, you can train them and kind of set it over your phalange, train it to be a little bit bigger. You could also use a glue stick or something like that if you wanted a little bit more stretch in it, there's lots of hacks for these and the the founder of Bojan um, really is great. I think her name is Maggie. Um, really great at putting out videos for you. Now, if you're like a 17 millimeter or something, you're like, oh man, it's not gonna work for me. You can get away with it a little bit by doing this hack. And all I've done here is I've folded it down and doubled up the size right there. So you can do that and then it's gonna bring it down a couple millimeters for you as you can see. You can also use this one with wearable pumps like the LV in the Willow. I really like actually pumping with this cushion when I do use my LV. The LV is already really comfortable so it's not necessary but the smallest size they have on these LV ones are 21 and I am a little bit smaller than that so I this is perfect for me fits in there really, really easy. It's super easy to wash and I really like it. They do need to be replaced every two to eight weeks depending on how much you're pumping, if you're pumping a lot. But a really cool product, especially if you're looking for just some increased comfort or you need to adjust your sizing just a little bit. So there you go. There's four different products for you that you can look into. And depending on which one kind of rang more true to you is which one you can use. I don't actually have a favorite. They all kind of serve a little bit different purpose. So whatever system or little thing you wanna try, please do. Again, there's discounts for you for most of these in the description uh, to save you a little bit of money because I love to do that for you. If you have more questions or you want help choosing a breast pump or accessories like this, you can come join us in our Facebook group. That's what me and the moms and the admins over there all do. It's a really fun place or you can follow me on Instagram, that's where I'm most active. If you have questions or if you have different insights on these products, will you please put them below? It's a great community of moms that we have here on the New Little Life channel and I love every single one of you. So thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.